Hello friends, today I'm going to show you an example of Remember Me in .NET Core. I hope this one will make some difference to your application. Though it's not a very concrete idea, but then uh, if you try to uh, catch on what's going on and what's the idea behind, uh, it will help you out on a simple application. Okay, so um, if I run this one, that's going to uh, give me um, a program with a login page. Um, just for your idea, I mean, uh, this is a general ASP.NET Core MVC application, and uh, we have uh, a home controller, um, one layout, and login.cshtml, and the index, that's the basic one. I created a dashboard, so that's like after login where we will be landing uh, the default lag landing page, and uh, we have a logout action that is going to clear the sessions, um, that is going to do the HTTP context for sign out async and uh, cookie authentication, or whatever the defaults are there. It's going to release that. Uh, so response dot cookies dot delete. So whatever I have in my cookies, remember me credentials. That's gonna relieve. Uh, that's going to be released and deleted. Okay, and that's going to redirect me to the login page once again. Uh, this action result dashboard, that's just like a default page where after logging in, I would be landing out. So um, showing you the output. So here is the output. And you can see that I have a login and I have a logout. So if I press on the logout, that's going to take me up to this uh, default page. Now, let's say I have an admin and the password is the password. If I log in, okay, that's wrong. Okay, if I took admin two and the password, and I log in. Well, that's also not working. How come? Should work. Did I type anything wrong? No. Hmm? What happened? Admin two. Okay, okay, that's password one. All right, I made some changes. Didn't realize that. Okay, that's going to restart the application because uh, the Hot reload sometimes doesn't work on controllers. If you make that uh, in CSS TMLs and you just refresh your page, hot reload works perfectly, but for controllers, sometimes it doesn't work. So I had to rebuild that again. All right, till it comes up, let's go ahead to the CSS TML and see what changes we did there. I have a model class, which is of users type. And if you can check that in my users class, I have an ID, a uname, a U password. Remember, this is a basic one, so I don't need a database connection. This is a complete static, but if you want to connect it with the database, you know what you have to do. You have to have a, an application DB context. Make sure that the connection string is uh, properly configured in your app settings.json. And also, you have to make changes in your program.cs so that it's connected with the application DB context and your connection string is initialized properly. And um, that works with a database connection. Though I'm not using those things here, so I just have few things to take care of, like a use session and use authentication, which I have added. And for um, yeah, the, the before using the session, you have to uh, add that to the services. So builder.services.add dot add session, and in the add authentication, uh, you mention your cookie and uh, these few lines of code uh, that takes care of the cookie when uh, it's created. Right, so I have like a 30 days span for this cookie to be deleted, uh, so it will remain active within those days. And if it finds this website or this program, it will automatically fetch that data and bind it to the controls. Let's see how we have bound that to the controls. You can see that uh, on my username field, it, it's bind with the view bag dot remember email, and with the password, it's also binding it with a view bag dot remember me password. Okay, and I have a checkbox which is. Uh, uh, connected with the class remember me. So if you look at this class, I have a remember me which is of bool. So if the checkbox is checked, that's returning true. And if not, that's returning false. And that one is going to be checked when um, I'm in my controller action method. So uh, you can see that uh, this is going to fetch the values and it's uh, checking, uh, it's it's uh, trying to fetch those values from the browser with the remember me credentials. And in the post method, it's it searches for uh, the model dot remember me is checked or not. And if it's true, then it will save those information to the browser cookies. All right. Now, I hope you have a good idea of what we did here. And now this is going to take that to the dashboard. So nothing more in the dashboard, just a plain CSS HTML. So three pages are working, the home controller dot CS and the login dot CSS HTML and the user class and what else, the dashboard. There is a logout method, which is going to clear up everything and uh, throw you back to the login page. So looking at this action, uh, we go to the login, and if I log in with my admin2 and the password, say password, 
I log in and that takes me to the dashboard. Okay. Now, if I do a log out, that has not remembered me. Now, if we go to the inspect, how that's going to work? Let's see this in the inspect and in the application. We don't have a cookie. If you check that, this is my cookie, which is showing up in the localhost uh, 5218. It doesn't have a cookie with uh, the remember me. But if I make changes like this and uh, I check this one uh, with the remember me and I log in, you see a cookie is created with remember me credentials and that has my values, the admin and the password. Okay. So until I log out, every time if I press on the login, that is going to fetch this cookie and bind those values to my controls. So for example, let's say I um, close this browser, okay, and I try to restart the application. So that brings me up to the uh, same page and we fetch the login page and uh, we try to see that what is there on the ID and password. That will by default have my ID and password pushed to the controls. See this, okay? Why? Because we have this information in the cookie and when we are hitting the get action method, those things are fetched and bound with the view bag and then view bag is binding that to my controls. You see this, okay? This is my ID and there's the password and it's binding those things to my control. Now, if I try to log in, that's taking me in. Now, what if we change the password? Supposing I have a changed password here. Let's say um, I'll stop this application and I will change this password to, let's say, password three. All right. So here, my remember me thing will not work. But if I run this thing and uh, try to log in, it will throw me out stating that the password didn't work. But once I put in the correct password and again do the remember me that's going to take up the new password as the correct password okay so you can see that uh, in our application we still have that cookie persisting but it has wrong value so what happens when we try to log in it's pushing the wrong value and if I try to log in I'll be thrown out saying that it's not the correct one okay what we do in here we will take this new password here with the same ID and let's say password three now I'll have to press the remember me again and then I log in so that gets my correct password password three so now if I try to go to the login I'll have the correct password and if I do the login that's going to use the correct password okay now how this one is removed we press on the logout so that hits the logout post method and that's going to release the cookie from here see this gone okay now you don't see that again if I do a refresh, I will not see this IDs pushed into my login page again. So guys, that was all about this videos. Nothing much more. I hope it's pretty much easy to understand and use handy to use. So if you have a simple application, you can use this one. If you want more, you can put in the comments like we want to do something more with this. Well, I'll take some time and will definitely come out with a different one. But in case um, I have some time without your request even I'll put more values and uh, we will try to get these values with Ajax and there is another way to fetch the remember me credentials as well okay so I hope I will come up with that one in few in the next session or a few more sessions um, until then stay tuned stay connected and happy coding thank you